Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm 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 gonna say it. Just shut up and dribble. Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Superior and thank you for watching Superior Thinking where we are committed to an intellectual integrity and a moral honesty and today we're here to talk about just I mean it, it seems like it's always this night and day hypocrisy that I'm constantly seeing and we're, we're talking about this basketball player I don't even know his name honestly I don't even care to even try to memorize his name it's just some idiot who okay okay I'm I'm sorry he may not be idiot he may be misinformed but my God, if he's misinformed, somebody who knows this guy needs to pull him aside and say, hey, brother, let me just educate you on some things. Because right now you looking like a fool on national TV. These people are parading your face, laughing behind your back and using what you're saying to their own benefit. Sound like an idiot, but. Let's go ahead and watch this video and I will show you exactly who we talking about. Teammates responded, do you think they're as grateful to be Americans as you are? I mean, my teammates actually, you know, were really, really happy for me because they knew the struggle that I had the last, you know, six years. Uh, you know, it was a funny joke in the beginning because they were calling me Mr. Freedom and now it became a reality. <laughs> but uh, I think my teammates were like, the the one that you know was my like my brothers you know um it was just so amazing because their support gave me so much hope and motivation to fight and fight for what's right so i definitely give a lot of great credit to my teammates it seems like people who move here from countries that are not free appreciate the freedoms here much more than a lot of us who grew up with those freedoms does have you noticed that you know, I feel like I'm going to just say this and I'm going to be honest. People should feel really blessed and lucky to be in this, be in, be in America because, you know, they love to criticize it. But when you live a country like Turkey or, or, you know, China or somewhere else, you will appreciate the freedoms you have here. Yes. You know, that is exactly so I feel like they should just please, they, they should just keep their mouth shut and stop criticizing the greatest nation in the world. And they should focus on, you know, the, their freedoms and their human rights and their uh, democracy. So this is America gave me everything I have. So I, I definitely appreciate uh, the United States of America. That's how I feel. Now, if you understand what you just seen, you will understand the hypocrisy like he literally contradicting himself within the same breath within the same sentence he he said america I, and, and i'm paraphrasing he said america is the greatest country with its democracies with this freedom so people should just shut up and stop complaining it's like do you know within that 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 democracy what comes with that freedom and they even hit it on, on on a subject during the conversation the freedom of speech to to speak out against your government you know like you won't get jailed for that but at the same time he has the audacity to tell people who are critiquing who are literally rightfully able to complain about the country they were born in you know what i'm saying i was born in this country my ancestors were disrespected in so many horrific ways. If I want to complain, best believe I'm going to do it loud and clear. You feel me? So it's weird how someone can just come to America, get a platform and say, hey, y'all just need to just shut up and appreciate what you got because this country over here is way worse now if we apply that to anything else if someone if some woman is getting beaten by her husband and goes to the police and the police says hey ma'am i just heard about this case in a couple of other states across the way and her husband was really mistreating her so maybe you don't have it as bad that would be crazy right you know what I'm saying? Like, like this whole slavery thing, like, Hey, slavery happened all across the world. So why are we just only focusing on America? Like, 
I, I ain't gonna call you no name. <laughs> I learned my lesson, but hey, sir, buddy, we we're living in America, so we're dealing with this issue that 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 we're in. Like it's just weird how people and, and Tucker Car in in that news that Fox News are the same people who told LeBron James to shut up and dribble when he spoke out. But what, but what the difference is, he spoke out against something that makes them look bad. So, of course, they're going to say, hey, LeBron James, shut up and dribble. But when you got this, this dude who, like I said, might just be misinformed because, you know, he may not know the history of America. He just knows America as today. You know what I'm saying? He gets to reap the the benefits off of the struggles of history, of American history. So when he speaks and says, hey, America is the greatest country in the world, there's nothing to complain about. They're going to say, hey, good job, sir. Even though we know you don't know what the hell you're talking about. But yeah, they're going to use that soundbite and just laugh behind his back. The same thing with, with Colin Kaepernick. Colin Kaepernick was actually a good football player and his stats show it his stats prove it this basketball player don't know nothing about him don't really watch basketball like that but from what i hear he's garbage you know what i'm saying so kaepernick who was a really good football player got blackballed for flexing his freedom do you see what do you see what the contradiction is if this is such a great country why do people have the audacity to shame people for using their freedoms that people claim that they have? I don't get it. It's crazy and people just need to just stop and think for a second and use their brain.